أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه وتعالى ونشكره ونستعينه ونستعينه وسيرشي عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Ya sanar da mu cewa ita tabbaci da kankatacciyar kashi aka halike ta. Shi sa za ka ga masu yawancin mata ka tattaun halayen da su. To ai hakuri. Ai hakuri. Ai hakuri. Amana. Amana, amana, amana. Ai hakuri. Ba samun dalilin sanar. Shi da sha Sutura magani ilmantarwa Ya wajaba akansu Anguwae Biya ila Anam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ina chiwa Da chiwa machila chiwa sallu li tabiya Tala biya li chiwa li chiwa li chiwa li Tayi azri wata ramadana Tayi wa biti tabiya ila na umutina Tekiya hii kanta
world of their upbringing in the scale of good deeds of their parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us very successful in our marriage. And they should hold on to the prayer of the Quran. I wish them peaceful marriage. I wish them long life. And I would like to say that these children should emulate the life of their father. Talking about Professor Umar Dambata. This man is a great man. He's a very peaceful man. He's a humble man. So my advice to the couples is, please make your wife your best friend. I wish you the best and may Allah guide you throughout your state of health. If a husband offends the wife's relation, he should apologize. If the wife offends the husband, who should apologize? The husband should apologize. Musa and Mubarak, when you offend your wife, say, I am sorry. When your wife offends you, say, I am sorry. Then you will be a very good husband. Thank you very much. And I also seize the opportunity to congratulate each of these young men on their conversion from bachelors into family members or family leaders or husbands. It is an honorous responsibility and it's a fulfillment of their own religion because it's fulfillment of the Sunnah of Muhammad And as such, it comes with responsibilities. It comes with serious leadership qualities because you are now about to become one of the key people who would make a difference with the Muslim Ummah. An important milestone in their life. So we believe with all these words of advice, the couples will put that into their minds and be able to stay together. Uh, that's the wish of everybody. It is the wish of everybody that one day is marriage, the couple will stay till death do them apart. I would like to, first of all, give thanks and gratitude to Almighty Allah for sparing our lives to witness this day, the 4th of January 2020. And then the turnout uh, is beyond my expectation. You know, all of you defied the weather conditions, especially in this part of, of the country. Some of you came by road all the way from Abuja. Some landed here virtually um, at 1 a.m. in the morning. And many of you are still able to grace, you know, the wedding fatiha at the Grand um, Mosque in Bayern, Kano. And of course, many of you managed, despite the heavy traffic on the way, to get to the venue of this reception. My gratitude to all of you um, remains eternal. I cannot thank you enough for finding time to really be with us. My entire family members are deeply appreciative of the acceptance to be with us, you know, during this uh, very, very important uh, turning point, you know, in the history of my family. I thank you very much. And I would like to equally wish you a very, very safe and pleasant journey to wherever your destinations you know, are. And I think and pray that we will have an occasion to re reunite again so that we can share one more time.